What's going on guys, John Elder here from Codemy.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to update a database entry with Flask and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at updating entries in our database with Flask. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos to teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. That's all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee at just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, in the last video, we set up our database to where we can add a friend's name. So, uh, you know, Tim, whatever. Oh, we already have Tim. How about uh, Sally? We already have Sally. Steve, right? Add a name, boom, it pops up. In this video, we want to look at what do we do if we want to update one of these? If we misspelled spark plug or something, right? How do we do that? So that's what we're going to look at in this video. So Let's head over to our code. So what we want to do is create a web page to where when we click on a link, it goes to the web page and we can update that entry and then, you know, go from there. So let's first go to templates and right click and let's just create a new file and let's go file save as and let's save this guy as update.html. And then I'm going to go to my friends page and let's just copy all of this control C to copy it head over here, paste it in here instead of title. Let's just put a update friend, right? And then here, let's say uh, update friend. And we still want a form, right? Because we want to be able to type in however we want to update this thing, right? But instead of it pointing the form action to friends, we want to point it to update. But we also need to pass in the ID of this particular friend so that we know which one to update. So let's just pass in. Uh, friend to update dot ID. And we'll set this friend to update up in just a second, right? So then down here, in the actual input itself, we want to give this a value of that same thing. So let's just copy this. Except instead of ID, we want this to be dot name, right? And like I said, we'll set this up in just a minute. So then instead of add name, let's call this update name. And we're good to go. We don't need this because we're not putting any of this stuff out onto the screen. So okay, that looks good. So let's go ahead and save this. Now we need to set up all this stuff, we need to set up a basically a route for this update page. And we need to set up this friends to update thing so that it exists. So let's head over to our apps.py. And let's just create a new route. And let's go app dot route. And we want this to be slash update slash now we need to pass in the ID of the post of the friend, right? So to do that, we use these brackets, and we call int ID. If you've done uh, Django, this looks very similar, right? So on this update page, we're gonna have to post to the database, right? Just like we did for our friends here. So we can actually copy this guy right here, and pass that right in there. And that should work. Okay, so now let's define update. And we want to pass in that ID. Now, remember from our update page, we have this friend to update. So let's create that now. So let's go friend to update. And this is going to equal, we need to query our database. So friends dot query dot get underscore or underscore 404. And we want to pass in that ID, which is coming from right here which will ultimately come from this page here. When we put a link here, we'll put a link to that ID, that ID will get passed uh, right here, then we can use that ID to look up the friend that we want to update, right. So every friend has a unique ID. And we can search the database, we can query the database just by doing this. Why is this friend? Because up here, we called our class friends. So we're saying, hey, look in this model, and search for a record with ID, which is this guy right here, of whatever ID we want to look at. And when we find that ID, we grab that record and stick it in this variable that we can then now pass to our page and do stuff with. So just like with our friends route, how we need an if statement, same exact deal. So we want to go if request dot method equals post then our friend underscore to underscore update dot name 
equals request dot form and then let's pass in a name. So why request.form.name? Because on the actual update page itself, here's our form that we're submitting, right? And in here, this box has the name, name, right? So what we're saying is basically take whatever they submitted in that form, the name, and then set it equal to this, right? And this is just like what we did here with our friends route in the last video. So, okay, once we have that, what do we wanna do? Well, we need to try or accept to add this to the database. So let's try and let's just go db.session.commit and then that's it. That's all you have to do to commit this thing to the database, right? So basically we're saying, hey, look up this record in the database with this ID. So let's say ID number one. ID number one is John Elder. So all of John Elder's stuff gets put into here. So friend to update dot name will be John Elder. But then if we post something, and we've changed it, we put Bob Elder, then we're saying, hey, put whatever we posted in that as this thing's name. So John Elder will become Bob Elder. And then once we've done that, we just commit that to the database. We save it to the database, right? So after we do that, we need to return a redirect to the web page. And let's just point this to slash friends. Let's point it back to the friends page. So except, so if we try to save this to the database and there's an error, we just want to return and let's say there was a problem uh, updating that friend. That, that, right? Okay, so we've got our if statement. Now we need an else statement. So else, we want to just return, render template, and then what template do we want to return? Update.html. And then now we also need to pass this into the page itself as context. So we can just set this equal to that, All right? Okay, so we've got this, we've got that now on our friends page itself, which is this guy, we need an actual link to that update page for each of these guys, right? So we can head over to our friends.html page and then right next to the friend's name, let's just put a link. So a href equals something and we'll fix this in a second and let's say uh, update and then close that now let's make this a button so we can call this class equals btn btn uh, dash secondary and actually let's head over to the bootstrap page real quick and let's look at our buttons so documentation come down to components click on buttons and I want secondary because it's gray, but I kind of want this outline. So to do that, we would go btn outline secondary. So instead of that, let's put this. And I also want to make this a smaller button too, because I don't want it taking up a whole lot of space. So we can do a small button by just giving it a btn sm. So let's do that too. Basically just playing at this point. So. BTN, BTN outline secondary, and BTN small. So, all right, that looks good. Now, what about the actual link itself? Well, here we can just pass, we want this to go to the update page, but we also need to pass in our friend.id, right? And that is, remember, we've got our loop here for friend in friends, friend.name, friend.id. So let's go ahead and save this and head back over to our page and hit reload and boom, now we have an update button next to each one of these guys. So say we wanna change Bob we can click update. Uh-oh, update slash one. Did I maybe forget to save our apps.py file? Could be. <laughs> All right, there we go. I just forgot to save the file. So now we're going to update slash one. You see Bob is already in the box. Why? because on our update page, right here, we put the value as friend to update dot name, right? So this value is what puts it in the box right here. So if we change this to John Elder, click update name, boom, now John Elder is the first one listed, right? If we do it again and change it back to Bob, now Bob is the first one listed. So pretty cool. Uh, here we're using a button. You can easily use a link. You could put this in a table. You can do anything you want. The mechanics of this are what's important and uh, just that easy.
So if we want to look through this one more time in our app.py, we created a new route with update slash int ID. And this int ID is right here. When we hover over this, look down in the bottom left hand corner, you can see it says update slash one. Here's the slash two slash three. That's the ID we're passing into this route, whatever the ID is for this the friend, right? The, the actual entry in the database. So slash ID, it's a method of post or get. If we post, we're posting. If we don't post, we're just going to the web page. So we're getting the page. So we do that. And uh, then we can look up, we can query the thing by that ID, which again, got passed right here from right here, right? So it goes from here to here to here. And then we look it up in the database, say, hey, grab record number one or record number four, or record number 2000, whatever, and slap it in this variable, friend to update. Then if they posted, if they filled out the form, then they changed the name. So whatever they changed the name to right here, put that in the database by updating this variable, right? Then once we've updated the variable, save it to the database with db.session.commit, and then redirect back to the friends page, right? If there's a problem saving it, put out a, an error message. Otherwise, if we're not making a post, it means we're just going to the web page, in which case we've just uh, put the page on the screen, update.html, pass in this friend to update record into the context so that when we go to our update page here in the input box, we can output whatever the name is in the box. So it's sitting there all nice and pretty so that we can update it accordingly and we don't have to remember who the friend was that we clicked on in the page before. It's just right there. And then we can click the button and that's how that works. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, which really helps out the page and I really appreciate. And check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. So you pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 40 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com and we'll see you in the next video.